Hi everyone, it's Daniela and welcome back to my channel. I have, um, I'm in love with slimline cards and I saw that these were going to be on HSN's craft day. And when I saw them there, I, uh, you know, they always try to scare you, but sometimes you just have that feeling. And when I was looking at them, a pop-up came up and said, a trillion people have this in their cart right now, going fast. So I was like, forget it, I'm buying it today. That's why I have it early. And as things keep coming in, I'll show them to you. So this is from Anna Griffin. It's the Slimline Compendium dies. There are 26 dies in here. And they make the most awesome... See, that's the thing, slimline cards. How are you going to get a die thin enough and in the right size in order to make beautiful matted slimline cards? It even comes with one to make the card base. Hmm. But it's bigger than what, I don't know, what I was told. You know how that is. I always thought that the cards were eight and a half by three and a half. So, you know, eight and a half by 11 piece of card stock. So three and a half and three and a half with six. Uh, that didn't work. I'm trying to see if you can cut it in whatever. It's the right height. <laughs> eight and a half for a regular piece of paper. But this one is, do it on the back. And this one is nine inches. It's actually nine and an eighth on the Tim Holtz roller, which would be weird, but okay. And the width is three and seven eighths. So interesting measurements, but you know what? Now I could just cut them all out. Boom. So I made this, um, Valentine's Day card and I use all five of the dies. I use the base die to cut my paper. This is Crafter's Companion Shimmer card stock in ivory. I love it. I am an ivory over white person too. Um, I think Marie is the one who said she likes that too. If I have a choice or sometimes the paper is really white, but that's not the point. So I made this pretty card and was so happy with how it came out. And these dies are going to be awesome because even if you don't want to use the base die that comes with it, you want to use your own paper, you know, whatever. I was just trying to see now what if we measure the, um, the biggest it's eight and three quarters. You could fold a piece of paper and just die cut the first one on three sides. See, the thing about a slimline card is it's supposed to fit into a business size envelope, meaning, you know, use white envelopes to mail bills or anything, as if anyone does that anymore. But they also have them business size and they're just longer. So slim lines are supposed to fit in those envelopes. I'm not sure if these cards will. I'm not saying they won't. I don't actually have a business size envelope on my person, but this is eight and a quarter. By, I'm on the second one right now. By three. So anyway, look at these pretty designs. So I love the arch on this one. And I love corners like this. I did that on the corners of the sentiments of the card. As you see. And um, I hate throwing away these pieces. I put one on the inside. The gold one because actually the biggest one didn't fit. So I used the second biggest one. So, um, 
I got those two, and here's what's so funny. In my rush to get them before I wasn't going to be able to, and all of that, I didn't even know there was two of these in there. I thought it just came like this, what it looks like in the plastic. It's like awesome. I pulled them out to use them and put them down, and it wasn't for a while when all of a sudden I noticed, what? To give the 26 dies in this whole set, which is amazing. And because the card was more square, I thought going with this would be cool because it's different. I mean, I make these all the time. This is the other one I really wanted to use. So, that is it. I got my Anna Griffin Slimline Compendium dies. So now I'm big and fancy with my cards. So, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and for all your support always. You know that you're all awesome. And I am so grateful that you visit and leave me such beautiful comments. So keep being awesome. And I'll be back in the next video. Stay awesome, everyone. Bye.